It's day two of Alec Baldwin's criminal trial in New Mexico. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was shot and killed while filming a movie in 2021. The question at hand, what is an actor's responsibility with guns on a movie set? ABC's Jacqueline Lee is in Santa Fe with more on what's happening inside the courtroom. Actor Alec Baldwin back in a Santa Fe courtroom today as prosecutors present their case. Baldwin is charged with involuntary manslaughter in the shooting death of 42-year-old cinematographer Helena Hutchins during a 2021 rehearsal for the movie Rust. He has pleaded not guilty. State's witnesses have painted a chaotic atmosphere on set. Jurors seeing lapel camera video from two of the first responding officers. The crime scene tech testifying she discovered six total live rounds on set, including one spent casing. The state claiming Baldwin had a responsibility to check the safety of the gun. You will see him cock the hammer when he's not supposed to cock the hammer. You will see him put his finger on the trigger when his finger's not supposed to be on the trigger. But Baldwin's team says the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez, sole job was to check the safety of firearms on a movie set, not an actor. And first assistant director David Halls also double checked the gun, handing it to Baldwin. Even if he intentionally pulled the trigger like the prosecutor just demonstrated, that doesn't make him guilty of homicide. He did not know or have any reason to know that gun was loaded with a live bullet. The prosecutors would argue that doesn't alleviate him of his legal responsibility to check the weapon for safety. Meaning if we weren't on a movie set, right, no doubt the obligation would be on Alec Baldwin. And that comes back to the first thing we talked about. What is the obligation of an actor in this context? Baldwin appearing on the verge of tears at times in court Wednesday, his wife comforting him, his siblings behind him also emotional at times. Armorer Hannah Gutierrez is expected to be called as a witness tomorrow. Again, she is appealing her conviction. She will likely plead the fifth. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Santa Fe, New Mexico.